Hello, bacho. In this question, it is given that let f of x equals to integral of root x by 1 plus x square dx, x greater than or equals to 0, then f of 3 minus f of 1 is equals to. Now, for finding the answer, let us write the key concept. This question ka key concept is if integral of sin x dx is given by minus cos x plus c. Integral of cos x dx is equals to sin x plus c. And 2 sin square x is equals to 1 minus cos 2 x. Now let us use the key concept and solve the problem. Now here we have f of x is equals to integral of root of x divided by 1 plus x whole square dx. Now let us take x is equals to tan square t. Then we will have dx is equals to 2 tan t. Tan t differentiation is secant square t dt. Now let us substitute the values. Then we will have f of tan square t is equals to integral of root of tan square t divided by 1 plus tan square t whole square. Instead of dx, we have 2 tan t secant square t dt. Now, we can write this as f of tan square t is equals to integral of root of tan square t is tan t divided by 1 plus tan square t is secant square t whole square into 2 tan t secant square t dt. Here secant square t and this square will get cancelled. Then we will have integral of 2 tan square t dt divided by secant square t. Now we can write this as integral of 2 tan square t is sin square t divided by cos square t. 1 by secant square t can be written as cos square t dt. Here cos square t and cos square t will get cancelled. So we will have integral of 2 sin square t dt. 2 sin square t can be written as 1 minus cos 2t dt. Now, if we separate the integrals, we will have integral of dt minus integral of cos 2t dt, which is equals to integral of dt is t minus integral of cos 2t dt is sin 2t divided by 2. Now, In the question, it is given that we have to find f of 3 and f of 1 and then subtract it. So, for f of 3, we have to substitute x equals to 3. We have taken x as tan square t is equals to 3. If we take square root on both sides, we will have tan t is equals to root 3. Then t is equals to tan inverse of root 3 which implies t is equals to pi by 3. And for f of 1 we have x is equals to 1 that is tan square t is equals to 1. If we take square root we will have tan t is equals to 1. t is equals to tan inverse of 1. Then t is equals to pi by 4. Now for f of 3 we have 
t minus sin 2t divided by 2. We have t as pi by 3 minus 1 by 2 into sin 2 into pi by 3 which is equals to pi by 3 minus 1 by 2 into sin 2 pi by 3 which is equals to pi by 3 minus 1 by 2 into sin 2 pi by 3 value is root 3 by 2 which is equals to pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4. Now let us find the value of f of 1 which is equals to t minus here we have t as pi by 4. So pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 into sin 2 t. Here we have t as pi by 4 which is equals to pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 into sin pi by 2 which is equals to pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 into sin pi by 2 is 1. So we have pi by 4 minus 1 by 2. Now f of 3 minus f of 1 is equals to pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4 minus pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 which is equals to pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4 minus pi by 4 plus 1 by 2. If we simplify this, we will have pi by 12 plus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 4. This is the final answer. Let us check the option. From the option, we can say that option A is correct. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you, Bacho.